Sea lions relaxing at Sandfly Bay on the Otago Peninsula. There are now about a dozen female sea lions raising pups each year along the Otago and Southland coast. While their numbers remain low, this may all change with an influx of visiting sea lions from a recently discovered colony on Stewart Island. We knew there was sub-adult males and males on Stewart Island, but we didn't know that there was females with pups. After giving out questionnaires to hunters on Stewart Island, Professor Chilvers came up trumps in 2010 with a sighting in Port Pegasus. Someone sent a photo of three females and five pups in it, so it was like, okay. So the next year I arranged to um, go down there and have a look and see if we could find these pups. Compared to Otago's wide open beaches, the newly discovered colony is located on a wild and remote part of Stewart Island and it's proving quite a task to count the pups. They are breeding you know, 100 metres up above sea level on a ridge line in massive beech forests. So they're really well hidden, like it, that's actually one of the greatest things about this research was it took us so long to find them and it's still every single year they're in different places and we spend you know 10 days working really hard just to find as many pups as we do. With more than 35 pups being born each year on Stewart Island, the sea lions there are considered to be a viable colony and there's hope the species will reclaim the New Zealand wide coastline where they lived in pre-human times. It's the first colony away from the subantarctics in 200 years, so it's quite a big thing for New Zealand sea lions. Um, you know, they used to breed all the way up to Cape Ringer, all through Nelson, uh, right out to the Chathams even, and they were wiped off. Um, and so, you know, they've only just been coming back in the last uh, 20 odd years. Researchers have recorded a number of visits to the Otago coastline by sea lions born on Stewart Island. While most females choose to give birth where they themselves were born, some from Stewart Island could eventually join other breeding females on Otago beaches. Actually, I think it's going to mean quite a lot for the colony up here. The, even the limited amount of resighting that we've seen between the animals, um, so tag, tag resighting, there's been an amazing number of seen up here. I think it's 70 or so animals, including three or four um, two and three year old females which is really significant because females are very, uh, it's called philopatric, they love to go back and give birth where they were born. And both Stewart Island and Otago seem to suit the sea lions well. Adult females are um, on average at least 15 kilos heavier up here than they are from the Auckland Islands and that's really a sign that they are you know, foraging easier, um, their access to prey is easier for them and they're just doing better all round. Unfortunately, it's not all good news. Over the past 20 years, the number of pups produced on the subantarctic islands of Auckland and Campbell have almost halved from 3,000 to well under 2,000 per year. Research by University of Otago Associate Professor Bruce Robertson suggests that the decline of sea lions at the Auckland and Campbell Islands is because the population is being harmed when they are caught up as bycatch on New Zealand's deep water trawlers. In Dunedin, The South Today.